Hello friends, Tony here. Another video about the Laravel development on Windows. On the yesterday's video about the Laragon versus the WSL, I said I prefer WSL and I had some comments on that video. So the first one, if you prefer WSL over Laragon, please show us how to install on Windows and on how to use it. Then we have while using Windows, Laragon all the way, but while using Linux, Docker is a king. Okay, then we have, I used to work on Windows with Laragon. It's really good, but since I switched to Linux, I will never go back to Windows. And I agree with this one. Also, I prefer Linux over Windows uh, for web development. Then we have this one here. Uh, Laravel Prompt supports macOS, Linux, and Windows with WSL. Are Prompt Cosmetics a reason to go from Laragon to WSL when Laragon is a complete portable solution? Easy to upgrade and without configuration hassle. Laragon versus WSL is like comparing apples to oranges, but at the end of the day, everyone should use what serves him best and what they prefer. Okay, so prompts is not a reason to go from Laragon to WSL. It's one reason, but not the reason. I'm going to show you why I prefer WSL over the Laragon. And I agree with this. Laragon is a complete portable solution. You can easily upgrade the PHP, uh, Node.js, MySQL, also the Apache. Uh, here we have a Please show us how to install on Windows because Laragon Apache server taking too much CPU. Then just update the Laravel installer. This is uh, out of this video because if you don't have the Laravel installer 5.0, it's, going, it's, it's going to show you the error when you say just Laravel new without the name of the project. Okay, so this is out of this. Then we have a WSL Docker. Yes, uh, also for this reason, I prefer to have WSL here because we need to, if we want to work with Docker. Uh, now I'm going to show you the reason why I prefer WSL over the Laragon. As I said, Laragon is very portable, is very easy, you just in, uh, download and install. And let's close this now. And I have run the Laragon, as you can see here is running and let's open the terminal and create a new project. So here I am with the Laragon terminal and I'm going to open also the timer here and take a look how long it's going to take to create a Laravel project with Laragon. So let's start. Laravel new, hit enter, give it a name, so test give it a breeze because I want also to have a breeze blade and yes one for test and no and let's take and see how long it's going to take to create a project with Laragon Okay, we are at the end, so working with the Vite now and application ready. So we have three minutes and nine seconds. To create a project, we need three minutes and nine seconds to create a project with Larago. Now let's take a look with WSL. Let's close this and also let's stop the Laragon. 
close this. And now let's open the terminal to work with uh, WSL. I'm going to zoom it. And let's see the in the code directory. And here, now I'm going to create a project. Okay, so we have three minutes and nine seconds with the uh, Laragon. Let's do this. It says start and now Laravel, new, test, select breeze, select blade, select dark mode, test, no, and let's take a look how long it's going to take for to create a Laravel project with WSL. Okay, with V and yeah, 30, 43 seconds, or let's see with uh, stopwatch is 47 seconds. And with the Laragon, we had uh, 3 minutes and 9 seconds. Okay, is a huge difference. For that, I prefer to use WSL over the Laragon. Now, if you prefer Laragon, it's okay, it's up to you. And I agree with that, but in my case, I prefer WSL. And this is one huge reason to select WSL over the Laragon. Now, if you like such a video, friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends. All the best. Thank you very much.